Man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. The eyes of the world now look into space, to the moon and to the planets beyond. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained and new rights to be won. They must be won and used for the progress of all people. Why some say the moon? Why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence time. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Well, space is there. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Okay, engine stop. Houston, uh, the Eagle has landed. Roger, Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. <laughs> now indelible. It's going to be remembered as long as man survives. July 20th, 1969, the day man reached and walked on the moon. eight days of the Apollo 11 mission, the world was witness to not only the triumph of technology, but to the strength of man's resolve and the persistence of his imagination. Through all time, the moon has endured out there, pale and distant, determining the tides, a tugging of the heart, a symbol, a beacon, a goal. The least of us is improved by the things done by the best of us. Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins are the best of us. They've led us further and higher than we ever imagined. <laughs> 